Good morning. Morning here. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> uh, just wanted to mention the breakfast that we've been having a bit while we're camping. Um, uh, because um, bread takes up so much room, um, there's no room for it in the fridge because our fridge is tiny. There you go. It's only 28 litres, so that's not giant. But it's big enough for most things we need to refrigerate. But... Um, yeah, so instead of like loaves of bread, I've been getting muffins because they're a bit of a denser bread. They don't go moldy really quickly. They're fine out of the fridge for a few days. And um, this is what we've been having. So just muffins with um, uh, butter and some form of mice on it. We're having chromite. They don't go moldy um, super fast. And um, yeah, they're fine out of the fridge for ages. So that's worked out well. Um, unfortunately, they don't go as far as a full loaf of bread, but, you know, you can get a few ahead of time and you'll be right. So, yeah, it's worked out well. So we've been tasting the muffins on this little toast tray thing. I'm sure you've seen them around. Got it from the op shop for, like, 50 cents. <laughs> I wasn't actually sure it would work, but, um, yeah, it does the trick all right. You just gotta keep an eye on it because it can burn really fast. Damn, we ran out of mite. I only get three out of my four halves buttered with mite. Not buttered with mite, spread with mite. Either way, it's really sad. Here's an everyday life tip for you, not necessarily just for camping. You know, I'm talking to my phone. You know, when you get these big uh, uh, cartons? And they're full, and you pour it like you normally would, and it goes glug, 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 and splashes everywhere. Tip it and pour it this way. Ta da, ready? And, oh. No glugs. Doesn't splash. You can keep that tip. This is how, um, I like to have a setup here for washing hands while we're at the campsite, uh, especially if there's no water nearby or um, the water's turned off like it is here because of COVID. Um, yeah, spray bottle, pump spray bottle, used for um, spraying weeds um, or whatever you want to spray. Um, this is the one that I got recently. I had a cheap one from Bunnings and uh, it really sucked. It broke, it was pathetic, it didn't hold the air. Um, this one's much better, it was like, I don't know, three times the price, but um, seems to get what you pay for. Anyway, um, it's a good tip is to get one where you can spray at any angle. You can spray it upside down, whatever you like. Um, but for washing hands, you just need to have it sitting somewhere where it's gonna spray out into the grass or whatever. Um, pump it up. Have it set on like a light spray. Um, also get one that you can lock the spray into the on position. There we go. Hand washing. Ta da! And then flick it off again. Easy as. It's um, 40 degrees out here. Like, ridiculously hot. 40 degrees Celsius, that is. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. You'll have to figure it out yourself. And, uh, it's so hot. Anyway, I've got this, I don't know if you can see it there, Frank Green cup. Oh, get off me, fly. And, um, it's an insulated cup. It's meant to be coffee or whatever. Well, whatever you want to put in it. And, uh, it's got, like, this little thing at the top that seals so it doesn't drip, it's great. Press that in, it opens up, so good. Anyway, I've uh, been putting cold water in it and uh, oof, so good in this water. Because <laughs> if you had a, yeah, fly is gross. If you had a, um, like a normal cup or water bottle out here in this weather, the cold water would be hot in like three seconds flat. <laughs> This is awesome. It's been uh, super hot here. Yesterday was nice and cool, but um, today it's really hot again. It's um, 
I don't think it's going to get 40 like it did the uh, day before yesterday and the one before that, but uh, it's, uh, it's really hot. <laughs> so I'm heading down to the creek again. And uh, I'm going to have a dip in my clothes. <laughs> because, well, firstly, I didn't bring togs. But also, because um, if I get all my clothes wet, then um, as my clothing dries, the, you know, the water evaporates out of it, then I've got evaporative cooling happening. I'm going to get in there. Now I feel suddenly cool in my wet clothes. <laughs> I love this cool view through the back door of my tent. Lovely little butterfly flying by. How cool is that with the shadows? Flies are so bad this afternoon. What's the bet? Oh, there's one. There's one. I was going to say, what's the bet as soon as I stop filming, they stop hassling me. It's always the way. Oh, so... One landed on me while I'm videoing. Before I was videoing, I was shooing them away like every three seconds. There's another one. Who is the way? Oh, okay, there we go. There's another one. I don't know if you can see them. Really, oh my god, they're just so annoying. I think it comes with the heat. It's um, super hot. It's like, it's probably cooled down to maybe 38 now. Um, I think I calculated that before in Celsius and it was like a, uh, in Fahrenheit and it's like 102 Fahrenheit or something. Stupid hot in, in anyone's language. Finally there's a breeze picking up which is good. Um, I can feel the temperature dropping bit by bit but not fast enough. And see look, maybe I should just keep filming all day and the flies won't hassle me. So annoying. <laughs> and now it's storming. <laughs> We're mostly dry under here. The rain will go for about half an hour. My uh, the rain app that I use, Rain Parrot, reckons it'll be half an hour. But thank God it's cooled it down. It was so hot. It was ridiculously hot. It was awful. Yeah, it's pulled it down heaps. <sighs> Honestly, I'm glad for this rain because man, it was hot. It was stupid hot. Even the flies seem to have gone away. Thank God. Crikey, they were annoying. Driving me just batty. It's ridiculous. <sighs> been a, it's been a bit of a rough day. Hmm. Listen to that rolling thunder. That's it fading away now. I don't know if you can hear it. Oops, blocking the camera. It, um, yeah, it's mostly faded away now. You can hear a little bit of rain still falling on the tent. It was a good storm. It's cooled things off so much. I missed the really big roll of thunder. I always do, right? It's starting to get a bit dark outside, which is why it's dark in here now and you can barely see me. But, um, yeah, good time to get in the tent early for bed, I think. <laughs> it's getting a little bit cool. I have a lap warmer here. <laughs> Hey, Ollie. Hey, you good girl. Very good girl you are. Uh, we're lying in the tent. 
um, it's um, it's not past much past uh, sundown. I don't know, maybe an hour, forty-five minutes. And uh, we hopped in the tent early tonight because um, it was really cold. So you can see me I'm all rugged up, beanie. Uh, I got like fingerless gloves on, which I can't show you because I'm holding the um, holding the, the headlamp facing at my head, so you can see me. And um, I got like thermals on and two long sleeve things. It was really cold out there. And there's a breeze that sort of like comes right through our campsite. So I was so cold sitting out there. Yeah, anyway, so we, we hopped in the tent a bit early and now we're getting all snuggled up in here and getting comfortable. Alexis is about to hoe into a packet of chips for like late, late night snack. Can, can you hear it? Crunch, Alexis. Crunch loudly. No, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, it's nice and comfy in here. And uh, I can hear massive gusts of wind out there. I can hear them sort of coming through the trees. Like, you can hear it in the distance. You okay? Yeah. You can hear it in the distance and the wind sort of... You can hear it sort of travelling towards us and... Um, I get that slight moment of nervousness thinking, oh my God, is our tank going to fall down? And it's not, it hasn't yet because it's been really quite windy here. And, um, but I don't know, just because the walls are so thin, I kind of feel like it's, um, I feel a little more vulner uh, vulnerable, I guess. Um, farty, goodness. And, um, yeah, and then the, the wind just sort of, flaps around out there and the trees all shake and rustle and you know maybe I'll hear like one of the uh one of the top covers out there have a bit of a flap and we're still all warm and cozy in here I mean it's probably I don't know three or four or five degrees warmer in the tent than it is outside uh I think it's meant to be a minimum of five degrees or was it eight degrees tonight or in the morning and then maximum of 15 tomorrow, which is not so warm. I dare say I probably will keep all of my layers on. Um, I still need to go out to the loo before we sleep tonight. I'm not really looking forward to that. Oh, here's the wind. Can you hear it? Oh, so it's just a light, a light gust of it just at the moment. You might not even be able to hear it on the camera. But yeah, super nice to be cozy in the tent here. Got all my layers and got my sleeping bag and extra blanket and stuff and starting to feel a bit sleepy. It's nice. I kind of like hearing the wind out there when when there's no effects of it inside the tent. It just feels nice and warm and cosy and secure. Yeah, it's good. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you'd like to, that'd be cool if you'd hit the like button. And if you want to know when um, I upload more videos, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That will send you a notification every time I put up a new video. Um, if you didn't like it, you can hit the down like button. It is totally up to you. Anyway, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.